Chris, Chris, are you okay? You've been in there for a while. I can't, uh, I can't poop. Ooh. Uh, Hey, it's Coach Becky here, and today I'm gonna show you some quick exercises you can do that are going to help you poop. Now, exercises are definitely gonna help, but even before you do that, there's two things you definitely wanna focus on. One is make sure you're getting in enough water, and the second is make sure you're getting in that fiber. So these two food things are really going to help. And getting in more fiber means getting in more vegetables, getting in healthier foods. And we've made that easy for you by putting together a paleo diet cookbook. It's a free guide you can grab by scrolling down to that pinned comment below and clicking that link. All right, you guys ready? Let's get into these exercises. All right, so first up, we're gonna do some jumping or some bounding. What this is getting the body moving, it helps to get those bowels moving. So what you can do is just a little jump in place on your toes. So I'm never setting my heels all the way down. I'm just kind of bouncing up and down. Now, for some of you, this might be a little bit too much impact. So what you can do instead is just up on the toes, down on the heels. Okay, so we can take that to more of a low impact move, but we're still getting that same up and down movement, which again, it's gonna start to help getting stuff moving in those bowels. Movement is so key to making sure you're getting those poops in. If we're not moving, man, it's gonna lead to that constipation. So just up and down movement is gonna be great and you can do it anywhere. All right, next up, we're gonna take it to some squats. We're gonna go for a wide squat here because what this is gonna do is help to open those hips. So a lot of us are spending a lot of time curled up, sitting at a desk, and if you think about it, we're just kind of squishing those intestines and squishing those guts all day long. So by doing some moves that help open those hips, this is gonna help as well. So I'm gonna take those toes out to the corners. From there, I'm just gonna drop down to that squat, bring it all the way up. And the reason I like this wide squat is it's really gonna start to open those hips out to the side versus a regular squat. Okay, so push those knees out wide, over those toes, standing tall at the top, just like this. All right, so you can start with maybe about 10 to 12 reps of this exercise, just enough to start to get things moving. All right, so next up, we're gonna stretch those hips out even more with a hip swing. So like we, I was talking about before, we wanna open up that hip area. So what we're gonna do here is just balance on one leg. We're gonna take our knee up, and then just kick your leg back behind you. So as you can see, I'm starting to open up and stretch through the front, through the abs, through the hips to start opening this area up. So again, that's gonna help. So we're gonna take our knee up, bring it back. Try to keep that leg lifted. If you need to for balance, you can even tap back behind you. The key here is getting this leg back, squeeze your glute, open up through the hip, through the front. Okay, so we're gonna go a little quicker with this. Up, back. Okay, so we're just swinging it up, swinging it back at a nice good pace here. So again, shooting for about 10 of these. And then of course, guess what? We've got to switch, take it to that other side. So same idea here, knee comes up, knee goes back. We just want to even out, so we're getting loosened up on both sides here. Now, if you do really struggle with balance even more, you're welcome to hold on to a chair, a wall, a countertop, whatever you need here. All right, let's do one more together, up and back. All right, I got one more move for you. We're gonna do a rotational move. So we're opening up the hips, okay? And we also wanna make sure we're getting some rotation, some movement in through our core area. So stretching the stuff out, getting it moving, moving up and down, all these things combined together is really gonna help <laughs> to get that, get that out that <laughs> you wanna get out. So let's go ahead and come up and down. So we're just gonna do a side chop here, up to the shoulder, down to the knee. Okay, so getting that rotational movement, getting that core working here, up and down, okay? So just like the other exercise, let's do about 10 on one side, okay? And then we're gonna switch. We're gonna come up and down that other way, okay? So engaging through that core, reaching to that knee, reaching to that shoulder, twisting with that body. You can see I'm rotating on those toes, okay? They're moving with me just like that. All right, let's do one more together, you guys, up down, back up. All right, so there's a few moves that you can do that are going to help you poop. 
I would do these every single day. They're body weight exercises, they're light exercises, so it doesn't hurt to do them every single day, especially if you're struggling to go to the bathroom. Now don't forget, you've got to make sure you're also getting in that water and that fiber, getting in lots of vegetables and healthy, clean foods. And if you need some help getting started with that, go check out that Paleo Diet Cookbook we put together for you to help you with this. So scroll down, check out that pinned comment down below, click that link to grab your free copy today. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Can't wait to see you next time.